Gold prices are plunging recently. We will examine the impact volatile gold prices have on South Korea's economy. President Park Geun-hye's New Year address and press conference focused on boosting the economy and stabilizing people's lives. We will forecast South Korea's economy in 2014 through concrete economic policy directions. With only an application, cars can be parked autonomously? We will introduce the autonomous parking technology recently developed in South Korea. Sales of diaries rising as the new year begins. We will visit Yangjisa, which is gaining popularity around the world with its high-quality diaries. Signs of more nuclear reactors resuming operation recently in North Korea. If so, how far have North Korea's nuclear technology capabilities come? Hello, I'm Andrew Salmon and welcome to BizLine. Now, the New Year's celebrations are over. Hopefully our hangovers are clear and it's time to get down to business. Now, President Park and Hare has been doing exactly that. She has announced her economic policy direction for 2014. We'll be discussing that later in the show. We'll also be looking at some technologies, old paper diaries, and new driverless cars, so do stay with us. But before we go to those and other feature stories, let's first take a look at all the breaking business and economic news hitting headlines across South Korea this week. Korea's foreign exchange reserves rose to a record high for the sixth straight month in December. The Bank of Korea said that the foreign reserves held by Asia's fourth largest economy stood at over 346 billion U.S. dollars, up nearly one and a half billion dollars from a month earlier. The central bank attributed the rise to a weak U.S. dollar, which boosted the dollar conversion value of non-dollar assets. The growth of outbound shipments by Korea's small and medium-sized businesses surpassed those of conglomerates last year. The Korea Federation of SMEs says exports for the country's small and mid-sized firms jumped little over 4 percent to 168 billion U.S. dollars from January to November last year, compared to a year earlier. Samsung Electronics has turned in a worse-than-expected earnings report card for the fourth quarter of last year. The world's largest smartphone maker said its operating profits reached 8.3 trillion won, which is roughly 7.8 billion U.S. dollars in the October to December period. This is down over 18 percent compared to the third quarter and is the lowest since the third quarter of 2012. The number of overseas travelers to Korea surpassed the 12 million mark for the first time just last month. According to the Korea Culture and Tourism Institute, there was a 9% increase in the number of visitors to Korea over the past year. Yet the amount of production spurred by tourism decreased to 24.2 billion U.S. dollars in 2013, down from 25 billion dollars the previous year. Industry analysts say the reason for the trend is that tourists are less willing to spend in Korea because of the one's rise against the dollar. There are various factors we can look at to signal which direction the global economy is heading in 2014. Will it be boom? Will it be bust? And one of these factors is gold prices. Now, in the last few years, the prices of the yellow stuff have been soaring, but more recently, they've plunged. Is this good news or is it bad news? Gold was considered as the safest asset for investors, but its price has been dropping fast at a worrisome level. Gold prices rose constantly for 12 years, and in 2011, it cost $1,873 per ounce. However, as of December 31, 2013, it dropped by 28% to cost $1,202.30. The size of the drop was the biggest since 1981, and people are wondering whether the era of gold has ended. People are uncertain whether they should reinvest in gold amid mixed views. On January 3rd, the Korea Gold Exchange announced an ounce of gold cost $1,230. 
It is calculated based on the foreign exchange rate and daily gold price in Korea. 국제 시세 연동이 돼서 환율과 어, <웃음> 계산된 그램당 42,000원, 그다음에 돈당인 3.75g 기준으로 했을 땐 어, 16만 원대를 보이고 있습니다. 어, 국제 금값은 4년 내 가장 저점을 보이고 있고요. Gold has enjoyed its prime years for 12 years since 2000. The price of gold surged sixfold during that time. It was due to an increased preference for safe assets on rising concerns of a weakening US dollar and inflation brought on by quantitative easing in the US. 원유 같은 경우에는 전력에 사용이 된다. 전기동 같은 경우에는 산업 수요다 이렇게 분류가 되지만 금 같은 경우에는 보석이나 그런 것들을 제외를 하고는 일단은 달러화를 대비해서 대체적으로 보유하고 있는 투자 수단이다 이런 이미지가 강하기 때문에 달러화 강세가 금 가격의 가장 위협 요인으로 작용할 수 있는 것이죠. Last year's plunge of gold prices was due to many reasons. Economic recovery in the US, expected tapering of stimulus by the US Federal Reserve, strengthening of the US dollar, concerns over deflation on the global front, and a slowed gold demand in China and India, which used to be the major buyers. With the main economic players showing growth, investors have less reasons to seek safe assets. People who didn't get the chance to sell before the gold price fall are feeling the heat. Many Korean households own gold because it is usually given as a present to celebrate a baby's first birthday or as a wedding gift. 요 그런 거는 지금 저희 남편이 예, 남편하고 결혼할 때 결혼 예물로 받았던 거고요. 그다음에 이런 거 남편이 선물해 준거 금을 가지고 있으면 왠지 마음이 든든하더라고요. 그래서 언제든지 이렇게 제가 긴급 자금으로 되팔아서 쓸수 있는 현금 가치가 되니까 금을 조금씩 갖게 되더라고요. 모으는 것 같아요. An asset that once seemed like a good investment to hold on to has all of a sudden become a worry. 얼마 전까지 금이 많이 금값이 올라가지고 사실 저도 혹시나고 계속 가지고 있었거든요. 안 팔고. 근데 요즘 되니까 다시 또 이렇게 오르지 않고 계속 또 이렇게 조금씩 떨어지고 있더라고요. 그래서 좀 안타까워요. 사실 그때 좀 팔아서 좀 재산 형성에 좀 이렇게 도움이 됐어야 되는데. Yet, there are some who welcome the plunge. Customers who had kept away from jewelry shops are back shopping. 예전이랑 비교해 봤을 때 뉴스 듣고 왔을 때는 확실히 전보다는 좀 저렴해지고 어, 좀 부담이 좀 저러, 어, 줄어들었다고 할까? 예, 좀 확실히 좀 어, 시세가 떨어진 것 같다는 느낌을 많이 받았습니다. Sales of gold bars, which are usually a means of investment, are up again. Last year's trend shows that when the gold price falls, gold bar sales rise. 주식에 대한 투자 시장도 침체되어 있고 부동산도 꾸준한 하락으로 인해서 어, 투자 매력을 느끼지 못하고 있기 때문에 반면 금 쪽으로 많이 투자 수요가 몰리고 있는 것 같습니다. 자, 우리 희귀 어머님께서. A baby's first year birthday ring, which is made of gold, is back again at birthday parties. Giving gold on a child's first birthday symbolized a wishing of wealth, so people had given it as a present. But due to the surge in gold prices, it wasn't easy to give a gold ring as a present. However, with a recent drop in gold prices, people are back to the old practice. 돌 반지랑 그리고 현금 그리고 애기 옷. 금은 우선 좀 부의 상징이다 보니까 이제 부자로 잘 커라 뭐 이런 의미로 알고 있거든요. 그래서 부자 됐으면 좋겠어요. 번째 생일 축하 노래 여러분들과 Sales of pure gold products as a first year birthday gift in online stores is up again. In November 2013, G-Market saw a 270% rise in sales of gold rings and bracelets from a year earlier while auction saw a 130% increase. The question is, has the gold price, which dropped to $1,200 per ounce, bottomed out, or is there more room for a decline? 
views vary. However, most experts believe that the rising trend that we saw since 2000 will be hard to come by again. 기본적으로 향후 세계 경제가 선진국 중심으로 회복될 것이기 때문에 계속해서 달러화가 점진적으로 강세를 보일 것이라는 예상하에서 금 가격이 예전만큼 빠르게 상승하기는 어렵다고 보고 있습니다. 다만 현재 가격 수준인 온스당 1,200달러 구간에서는 심리적으로나 생산 능력 측면에서나 어, 강한 지지선으로 활용되고 있는 부분입니다. 따라서 올 상반기 중국 경기 회복 기대감 등이 주요 변수로 작용을 하면서 반등이 가능할 것으로 예상하고 있습니다. Gold, the symbol of wealth and a safe asset, has plunged. Some see it as an opportunity to invest, while others cry out betrayal. It remains to be seen what direction the gold price will take in 2014. President Park in here has recently announced her economic policy direction for this year, for 2014. What is it? Well, to answer that question, we have with us one of her key advisors. He's the Vice Chairman of the National Economic Advisory Council, Dr. Hyun Jung Tech. Welcome to Bizline. Yeah, glad to meet you. Okay. Mm. Well, the President gave her New Year's message, recently gave uh, a very long press conference also. Mm -hmm. um, she's mentioned that she wants to see an economic recovery, mm -hmm. um, there'll be policy packages such as extra budget allocations, um, mm -hmm. and hopefully a boost in investment. Mm -hmm. Now you play a role kind of between the people, the real public, and the mm -hmm. President mm -hmm. um, in terms of um, economic issues. Mm -hmm. Do you believe that the, uh, the people are really feeling um, this rather optimistic outlook that the president mm. seems to uh, to have. Yeah, I, uh, first of all, uh, I have to admit I think the general people's feeling about the economy and the economic indicator uh, mm. there is a, a difference, a gap. Mm. There are a couple of reasons. I think the first and most important reason is that we have had quite a long time of uh, recession or I think economic uh, uh, sluggishness. Mm. So about two years. Uh, this graph is a little bit complicated, but uh, okay. let me show you that uh, the economic growth rate is shown by the slope. Right. And then the status is at the current level. So this blue line is trend. So if economic growth at this blue line slope, then it is about the potential. Okay. But this red line is the point where we are currently is. So as you can see, the red line slope is higher, yeah. higher than the potential. That means the recent economic indicator, in particular, the economic growth rate is higher than the potential. But mm. the reason why, well, let me oh, show you also. The reason why I think that the, the people uh, is not quite feeling about the economic recovery yeah. is Although the slope is higher than this uh, blue one, mm. but the current status, the level, is below, below the, uh, the, the potential. So we call this a minus GDP gap. Minus mm. GDP gap. But in so reality, yeah. we're not in a recession. In yeah. reality, we're approaching potential g growth. Yes, so that exactly. It's approaching, but yeah. uh, when you look at the graph, it is a short time, yeah. but uh, the Bank of Korea yeah. says, oh, you can keep this. <laughs> okay, uh, Bank you. of Korea says, I think, that, uh, quite a uh, uh, substantial time we are in minus GDP gap. So that means, although we are in recovery pace, mm. I think uh, it is quite a long time, or I think that quite some time to make the people feel the real, I think, good or boom of the economy. Mm. That, that is one factor. But the second factor is uh, the recovery comes from the export sector. Yeah, yeah. So the, in the last year, latter half, the export is picking up. Mm. But the domestic consumption trade. and so investment is not increasing. And the other uh, factor is about income distribution, that uh, mm. there are some uh, big business and then the high income people, uh, they may feel their recovery, but I think that the, uh, the lower level, in particular, the cell phone business, uh, 
when you go out to the restaurant, well, mm. I can see it. Uh, not many, I think, that the customer is there. And when you go out to the market mm. or in particular Retail. supermarket, yeah. I think still the sales is not picking up. So, mm. so we have to continue mm. this uh, recovery pace. I and mean, this is a, a perennial problem for the Korean economy, isn't yeah. it? You've got a very, very strong export-led sector. Yes, so yeah. the, uh, the big export is yeah. doing very well. But the trickle-down effect is not reaching the average Kim Park or Lee. Yeah, particularly not yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. which is always going to be a challenge for, mm -hmm. for the yeah. government. Mm -hmm. um, another po point mm -hmm. which um, President Park made mm -hmm. during her New Year mm -hmm. address was that mm -hmm. she wants to sort of normalize these abnormal okay. processes mm -hmm. um, in every corner of so mm -hmm. society. Mm -hmm. um, what was she referring to mm -hmm. in yeah. this case? Uh, there are many cases, but let me give you first about the example that uh, she mentioned. And uh, many experts also mentioned that the most problematic sector is public sector, so public enterprises. So in that public enterprises, uh, well, in one world, there is a lot of inefficient uh, management, inefficient resource allocation. Mm. Uh, the inefficiency is comes from both sides, from the management side and also from worker side. Mm. Uh, from the management viewpoint, it is a monopoly and oligopoly, so mm. uh, they don't have an incentive to uh, make an efficient, I think, management because uh, they are, I said, the only one. I think, for example, uh, energy supplier or gas supplier, so uh, they can uh, maintain the current status. So uh, it's yeah. a inefficient. And at the same time, at the worker level, uh, you know, uh, it is quite a strong, I think, union. Mm -hmm. And it is, in fact, really difficult to get into the uh, public uh, the invested company. But once you get in there, then the status is almost guaranteed mm -hmm. for, until, uh, for, for a long time. Mm -hmm. And their salary is relatively high, mm. and well, I think uh, the the number of workers uh, is quite uh, uh, larger than I think the private companies. So uh, we have to we have to change those system, uh, those I think a monopoly or um, oligopolistic uh, system of this public enterprise. But it's not just about the public uh, enterprise. Also in private enterprise, particular as you know, the Jebel or conglomerate or Jebel, the relation between Jebel and small and medium mm -hmm. enterprises. Of course, in the market, we have uh, big companies or small companies. As far as they are playing fair game, it's mm. not a problem. But you know, in many cases, the game is not fair. I think that uh, the big conglomerates uh, demand uh, somewhat, I think, the lower, I think, supplying price mm -hmm. from small and medium enterprises. And some technology, I think, uh, they uh, are not paying the, I think, for Yeah. So in that aspect, we have to change it. Also in the government, uh, so we need to uh, change the system. So. The reason normalize this abnormal I think, aspect as applies in all these, I think. In economic jargon, we call it economic rent. Economic rent is when some entry barrier uh, is uh, there, mm. then those already inside, inside the market, they have an uh, extra profit. So we have to uh, block. Uh, we, I mean that uh, we have to, I think, uh, break that uh, economic rent-seeking activity. Yeah. Mm. Is, uh, this sounds like a very, very big agenda for the uh, president. Really big. Uh, yeah, big agenda. Yeah. Mm. Um, but some of it, on the other hand, seems extremely easy to carry off. For example, mm. uh, malfeasances mm. by Chebel. Why yeah. not simply apply fair trade law? This just hasn't been done previously. I think, yeah, it's may seem uh, uh, very easy, but uh, again, I think uh, it should be based on the law. So the, we need to change the law, and then uh, we have to apply uh, this uh, new uh, rule-based system. Mm. So changing the law, so we need uh, quite a long deliberation in the National Assembly. Mm. Another point is just saying fair and unfair may be easier, 
-hmm. but we need to very refined regulation, refined law, or some uh, big conglomerate say, no, no, we are charging the fair price, mm -hmm. and some uh, small and medium uh, enterprise saying, no, they are uh, charging unfair, I think, the uh, request. So mm -hmm. what is fair and unfair? That needs quite a refined and, uh, how can I say, focused effort for quite a long time. So in order to change this system, uh, those experts in, for example, Fair Trade Commission mm -hmm. or experts uh, like the KDI, I think they have to work hard and then they have to a uh, very uh, refined, I think, system. Okay, you mentioned that, that there needs to be change in laws again. Many lawyers here would yeah. say, actually, South Korea has already got very, very good laws on yeah. the books. Yeah. They just need to apply them either mm. to the big boys in business yeah. or to lawbreakers in unions. Mm. Is there a reluctance to, to actually apply the law? Yeah, that is related to uh, rent-seeking activity. Uh, certainly, there is, well, how should I call I think, a reluctance or a hesitance mm. or temptation to keep the uh, current status quo yeah. because they are already enjoying this economic rent. So any direction of changing uh, may seem to them, I think, that maybe uh, uh, they are I think, losing uh, their share. Yeah. So, but, but surely, yeah. Doctor, it's not up to them. Yeah. It's up to the judiciary and, and government regulators to apply the law to them, whether they like it or not. Uh, yeah. Again, I think I, I'm very much afraid to say, but actually uh, this ministry itself is linked to that uh, interest group. Mm. So uh, some part, I think uh, it is natural, uh, they have to listen to this interest group. Mm. And also the subcommittee of National Assembly, they have to listen to this interest group. So in many cases, uh, it's natural uh, for them to listen to this small organized interest uh, group. A very privileged Rather group. than the uh, general public. public. Yes. Yeah. Yes. OK. Yes. Let's move on then. Yeah. Um, President Park and Hare, as, as you mentioned, has announced yeah. us, uh, in her press conference and so on, yeah. a three-year economic reform yeah. plan yeah. for the, the so-called leap of the Korean economy. Okay. What are the key points here? Yeah. Three-year plan. Yeah, my idea I said, uh, is that uh, basically two keywords. One is uh, reform, and then uh, second is sustainable growth. It, it is linked. Uh, mm -hmm. The sustainable growth uh, as I explained, co at current moment, uh, Korea's potential growth rate uh, in Japan, uh, they were to make a return to the normal. So mm -hmm. we have to go back to this potential growth. In order to do that, uh, we have to make a reform in every sector, in reform in government sector. For example, in government, uh, the past government performance is that the each government ministry is doing their own work. So the conversion of the government work or teamwork of the government is needed. In business sector, we have talked, as we have talked, mm -hmm. I think this business practice have to be changed, and in particular, the public enterprise should be changed. Yeah. Mm. Next time you're speaking in front of the council, what do you think, uh, what will you advise? What do you think should be the key uh, economic tasks for the year? I always tell, and then uh, President Park uh, also mentioned this, in my opinion, the software is more important. Mm. In the past, I think in Korea, uh, is a hardware in terms mm. of building up, I think, mm. more factories, right, uh, more, infrastructure. Uh, more infrastructure, more equipment. But I think that the, the software, the operation of the government, operation of the conglomerate, so that is in a sense linked to so-called creative economy, the Changjo Gyeongje of mm. uh, President Park. She emphasized this paradigm shift. Mm. Paradigm shift uh, means the changing the pattern of government. Again, that we have an IT technology, so we don't need to face to face to work in government. So this uh, new paradigm shift in government working system or uh, she mentioned uh, also uh, this regulation, not just count one by one, changing the system into negative uh, system of regulation. That means in the past, the law says 
you can only do this A, B, C, and D. If it is not listed there, yeah. you cannot do that. But changing them into negative system, you can do you, you, you cannot expand. do. Yeah, it's right. always so. Those kind of I think software in my my jargon, according to my jargon, yeah. software system or changing the system is very important. It is also linked to the social capital and the credibility. Understood. Okay. Yeah. Well, I do hope you pass that on at yeah. the next uh, meeting mm -hmm. of the council. Mm -hmm. Dr. Hyun, thank you very much mm -hmm. for being thank on BizLine. One of the trickiest driving skills to master is parking. If you are one of those people who gets a little bit nervous when it comes time to start checking your wing mirrors, looking over your shoulder and hoping like hell you don't chip your paintwork, well, we've got news for you. In South Korea, a completely automated self-parking technology has recently been developed. This means at the end of your journey, you can take your hands off the wheel and your car will actually park itself. How on earth do they do that? Let's take a look. A driverless car that finds an empty space to park itself and comes to the place the driver awaits. Let's meet the autonomous valet parking technology that will turn our imagination into reality. Wandering around for vacant parking spaces, having a hard time parking a car in small areas, and occasionally having accidents if something goes wrong. Now, drivers who are unfamiliar with parking can ease such worries over parking. A hotel in Seoul. When entering the parking lot, the sensor in the entrance recognizes the vehicle's license plate. By following the directional signs, the vehicle arrives at an empty parking area. After detecting the vehicle is parked at a parking area, the sensor turns red and at the same time, the number of cars shown on the electric sign rises. 주차장 내부에 있는 센서들이 차량의 주차 여부를 판별하고 그 데이터를 입구 종합 반대판과 측면 유도 반대판 그리고 블록 유도 반대판에 실시간으로 표출해 주는 시스템입니다. The parking information detected by the sensors are sent to the central control room. After finding out the overall parking status, it guides the car to the nearest vacant parking area. 자동 주차 관리 시스템 구축으로 인하여 주차 현황을 한 눈에 파악할 수 있으며 고객의 주차 시간을 단축 가능하게 함으로써 고객의 편의성을 극대화시켰습니다. As every car movement is recorded in the server, you can get guidance on the parked location as well as the route to the parked place by entering the vehicle number to the kiosk. 제가 볼일을 보고 나서 내 차량이 어디에 주차 있는지 기억이 나지 않았을 때그 터치 스크린으로 한 번에 내 차가 위치가 어디 있는지 알수 있어서 매우 편리하고 좋았습니다. Moreover, parking is becoming more convenient by its convergence with ICT technologies such as the parking assistance system that is already commercialized. But local researchers have recently developed an autonomous valet parking technology that will enable vehicles to park themselves, more than just assisting parking. After getting out of the car, the driver takes out a tablet PC and activates the autonomous parking app. When the driver touches a parking location on the app, it marks empty parking spaces. The car moves as soon as the driver designates a parking space. The car finds the parking space designated by the driver by steering and shifting gears by itself without the driver. And parks precisely in the parking area in a single attempt even if it is a tight space. Battery, 이제 무인 자동차에 있는 이제 시스템은 무선 통신을 이용해서 통신을 하고 있습니다. 그래서 어차 내에 
그 무선 통신 기기인 AP가 설치가 돼 있고 어, 스마트폰에서 자동 주차 서비스를 하게 되면 그 통신을 이용해서 어, 서비스가 이제 수행이 됩니다. So what should we do now if we want to get on the car again? Without having to walk to the parked space, the driver can summon the car with a tablet PC. This time, the driverless car finds its own way to the owner. A complete autonomous parking technology that doesn't require any interventions from drivers for the entire parking process has become feasible. The camera sensors installed in the car enable precise autonomous parking as if a person is actually parking the car. 차량에는 총 6대의 카메라가 장착되어 있습니다. 그래서 전방의 카메라가 차량의 움직임을 인식을 하고 되고 그 위에 전방 다른 카메라들이 협력해서 차량 주변의 3차원 공간을 인식하게 됩니다. 그래서 그 공간에 인식된 공간과 지도 정보와 비교를 해서 차량이 현재 어디에 위치해 있고 앞으로 어디로 어떤 방향으로 진행하고 있는지를 인식해서 그 차량 제어 시스템에게 현재 위치와 이동 방향 정보를 알려 주게 되고 있습니다. But aren't there any risks of unexpected accidents stemming from system errors? 보통 사람이 운전할 때 장애물 있을 때 브레이크를 밟는 속도는 보통 0.5초 정도 됩니다. 하지만 저희 시스템은 자동적으로 장애물 인지를 해서 브레이크 밟는 데까지는 그것보다 훨씬 더 빠른 속도의 처리가 가능하기 때문에 사고를 미연에 방지를 할 수가 있고요. The global smart car market is expected to grow an average of 7.4% per year. to reach $274 billion in 2017. Amid such fierce global competition of new smart car technologies, competitiveness of domestic smart cars has strengthened by taking the lead in developing an autonomous valet parking technology. The technology is likely to have an unrivaled competitiveness in the market as commercialization of the technology will be feasible at a price of around 2,000 US dollars by using low-priced camera sensors. 지금 현재 고급 차종들은 엑셀 브레이크 그리고 조향 그리고 기어 변속들을 어, 자동으로 제어, 제어할 전자적으로 제어할 수 있는 어, 전자 장치화가 되어 있습니다. 하지만 어, 다른 차종들은 지금 현재는 그렇지 않지만 향후에는 어, 전자 제어화가 되어서 저희 어, 자동 발레 주차 서비스를 옵션으로 장착을 해서 아주 편리한 서비스를 제공할 수가 있습니다. Indeed, once the autonomous valet parking technology is commercialized, it can save fuel as well as reduce social costs stemming from parking lot accidents. In particular, this is likely to provide benefits more valuable than just convenience for the vulnerable road users, such as senior citizens, disabled people, and women. 지하 주차장 같이 컴컴한 곳을 여성 운전자들은 꺼리게 되는데 그러한 곳에서의 도난이나 폭력 그리고 무거운 짐을 들고 어떤 먼 거리의 주차장까지 가야 하는 그런 번거로움도 해소될 수 있고요. 그리고 특히 고령자들이 주차나 이런 어, 여성 운전자들, 초보 운전자들이 주차를 가장 큰 운전의 스트레스로 생각을 하고 있는데 그러한 부분이 해결될 수 있을 것으로 생각을 합니다. The autonomous valet parking technology that can create high values through convergence of intelligent smart cars and automated parking system. This technology is likely to become a solid foundation of developing a complete autonomous car in the future. What is the first thing you do when a new year dawns? For many, it's make a resolution. But if you're a smart planner, the first resolution you should make is to get a new diary. And remarkably, despite the popularity of smartphones with their embedded electronic diaries, the popularity of the paper diary has never diminished. Why not? Keep watching. The first thing people do when the new year arrives is to plan for the year ahead. It's very easy to find people buying diaries at the start of the new year. Diary sales had once dipped due to an increasing number of people using smartphone applications. People have complained of eye fatigue after looking at smartphones for so long and are now returning to the analog way of life. With the change, people are back to buying diaries to record their daily schedules. 
다이어리 같은 경우 생각나는 메모나 아니면 플랜을 그때그때 적어서 사용할 수 있고 그리고 지난 메모나 작년이나 뭐 후년 이런 것들을 다 가지고 있을 수 있기 때문에 경기가 어려워질수록 자기 계획을 뚜렷이 채우려는 고객분들이 많이 늘어나는 것 같습니다. 간단한 메모는 스마트폰을 사용하지만 일정을 기록해야 하는 다이어리는 아직도 많은 분들이 찾고 계십니다. 다이어리류의 판매가 매해 평균 10%씩 늘고 있습니다. Among many diary makers in Korea, there is one small and medium-sized company that is leading the market, and that is Yangjisa. For 38 years, it has continued to make the best quality diaries. It began in 1976 when Koreans were yet unfamiliar with the use of diaries and there were many hurdles to overcome to begin with. 초창기에는 아마 소재 쪽이었던 것 같습니다. 소재 산업이 발달을 많이 못하다 보니까 종이라든지 또 다이어리 표지의 소재들이 그렇게 품질이 뒷받침이 되지 못했습니다. 관계되는 모든 그 회사들의 대표들을 직접 설득하고 또 같이 협력 개발하셔서 오늘 현재 제품의 기반이 되지 않았나 그렇게 생각을 합니다. The demand for diaries is mostly concentrated in the second half of the year in Korea. So Yang Jisa worked to expand the market outside of the country from the beginning. Markets outside of Korea that are in high demand for diaries have a steady demand all year round and in order to resolve an imbalance in production line, Yang Jisa sought after foreign buyers. It was duly rewarded for its hard work to maintain top quality and expand market overseas and began supplying its diaries to renowned companies such as the New York Times and American Express. Yang Jisa gained recognition through word of mouth and strengthened its presence in Korea as well as around the world. 저희 고객들은 대부분 연말 연초에 제품을 찾게 됩니다. 그러다 보니까 비수기 때 공장 운영에 상당히 어려움이 많이 있는 게 현실입니다. 그래서 해외 시장에 좀 눈을 돌리게 됐고 수출을 적극적으로 추진하게 된 그런 계기가 되었던 것 같습니다. Currently, Yang Jisa sells its diaries to 50 countries around the world. So what is the secret behind its success as a diary specialist for 38 years? The company concentrates on producing high-quality diaries. Its products are known for smooth paper for writing and comfortable to the eyes. Because the diary has to last a year in use, Yang Jisa makes sure that the pages do not rip out. Now, it implemented that extra step in binding by using string, which is the first in Korea. 친환경적인 인쇄 공법인 콩기름 잉크를 사용함으로써 인쇄 품질이 우수함은 물론 눈에 피로감이 없도록 제작하여 사용하고 있습니다. 1년 동안 사용할 수 있는 다이어리가 튼튼하게 사용될 수 있도록 또한 오랫동안 간직할 수 있도록 내구성이 뛰어나게 제작할 수 있는 장점이 있습니다. Yang Jisa also offers a variety of features to meet demands from consumers in every country it sells to. 다이어리 속 내용이 그 나라의 문화, 생활 습관 등이 사실은 집약이 돼 있습니다. 아, 그래서 저희가 그각 국가의 어, 중요한 어, 그 생활 습관이나 또 문화에 대해서 사전에 집중적으로 검토를 많이 하는 편입니다. To keep its competitive edge, Yang Jisa implemented an automated system from design to packaging. It helped to reduce labor costs while maintaining its high quality without losing credibility or missing a deadline. As a result, the company is expecting 54.5 million US dollars in revenue as of June this year. It is by far the largest diary manufacturer in Korea. Still, the company is working to develop products focusing on customers' needs. 감성적이고 개인의 개성을 많이 반영할 수 있는 제품 위주로 개발하고 있습니다. 예를 들자면 여행하면서 기록할 수 있는 여행 저널이나 표지에 자기 이름을 쓰거나 또 친구끼리, 연인끼리 이니셜을 새겨서 자기만의 다이어리를 개발하고 있습니다. That's not all. As most of Yang Jisa's products supplied overseas are under OEM, the company plans to launch its own brand to make headway in the global market. 다이어리가 많이 패션화가 돼 있고 또이 제품 자체가 어떤 데스크 상품의 일환으로 움직일 수 있는 부분이기 때문에 어, 과거에 어떤 다이어리에 국한되어 있는 양지사가 아닌 어, 조금 더 데스크에서 친숙할 수 있는 
여러 가지 제품을 개발하는 회사로서 여러분들한테 친숙하게 다가설 예정입니다. A diary is not just a means to organize one's schedule, but has become part of a person's everyday life. Yang Jisa has worked diligently to be part of that growing trend. It now aims to become a household necessity as a top quality diary maker. It's widely understood that when North Korea faces internal unrest, it launches external provocations to unite its people. And there are fears that there is indeed internal unrest underway in North Korea as signaled by the execution of Jang Sun Tech, the uncle of the leader Kim Jong-un. Now the biggest saber that North Korea can rattle is the nuclear one. This raises questions. Could North Korea detonate another nuclear device? And how far along are North Korea's nuclear programs? In a New Year's Day speech for 2014, Kim Jong-un warned that any conflict on the Korean peninsula could lead to a nuclear catastrophe as he rhetorically condemned the U.S. and South Korean joint military exercises. North Korean experts say Pyongyang's willingness to develop nuclear arms along with other military capabilities was more strongly stated in the speech this time than before. The secretive socialist state already has nuclear devices and a nuclear test site. After its third nuclear test early last year, it officially declared that it would continue strengthening its nuclear capabilities. 제도적으로라든지 정치적으로는 보면은 핵 병진 노선 그 핵무기 핵무력과 어, 경제 건설을 동시에 추진하겠다. 또핵핵 핵 문제에 대해서 그 제도적으로 즉핵 그 보유 국가로서 핵 능력을 계속 강화하겠다. 능력 강그 능력을 신장시키겠다는 것을 대내적으로 표명하고 있습니다. Citing a number of satellite images, U.S.-based research institute said last month the Yongbyon nuclear complex appeared increasingly active. And in particular, a building retooled to produce fresh fuel rods for the recently restarted reactor appeared to be in operation. I have greater suspicion that they're making a highly enriched uranium. They've implied that they're going to move in that direction. And, and they could have another centrifuge plant someplace else that's used to actually make the highly enriched uranium. The nuclear arms state is believed to be able to produce 6 kilograms of plutonium annually from the restarted gas graphite 5 megawatt electric reactor. Each nuclear weapon is assumed to use between 6 to 8 kilograms of plutonium as fuel. The estimation is about 25 to 30 kilograms of plutonium already they have. If they um, load the new nuclear fuels to the the Yongbyon reactor, then it will take um, at least one year to get the irradiated fuels. And then after two or three years of continuous operation of the Yongbyon nuclear reactor, it is possible that they can add up 5 to 10 kilograms of plutonium annually, and this amount is up to one nuclear bomb per year. The secretive state in 2010 also showed a group of American nuclear scientists its modern uranium enrichment facility with 2,000 centrifuge cascades that could produce about 40 kilograms of 90% weapon-grade highly enriched uranium a year. That amount is enough to make one or two nuclear bombs. They had been making it for several years. They could have enough for um, almost a dozen nuclear weapons. Again, that would be in the case where they've been making it for probably six, seven years. And if it's only been a year, then it's probably not much more than enough for one or two nuclear weapons. But nuclear scientists fear that the reclusive regime may have more of such plants, which could easily be concealed since they use little electricity and don't produce much heat. Amid speculations of increasing activities at the Yongbyon nuclear facilities, South Korea's Defense Minister Kim Kwan Jin warned late last year that the North appeared to be capable of producing a nuclear weapon using uranium as its fissile source. So, for that reason and others, we think that North Korea has to increase the yield of its nuclear weapons. A simple, straightforward way to do that um, 
is to combine a plutonium design with weapon-grade uranium, radium enriched over 90% in, a, in what would be called a composite core. If you do a composite core of plutonium and highly enriched uranium, or preferably weapon-grade uranium, you can actually get the yield up much higher um, than North Korea can currently with its design. Right after its latest nuclear test, the secretive nuclear state declared that it succeeded in diversifying and miniaturizing a nuclear device, indicating it might have used uranium as the fissile fuel and made the bomb small enough to be delivered on a missile. 일반적으로 다른 국가들이 핵무기를 개발하는 데 있어서 약 10년 정도 이내에 소형화 기술을 다 달성합니다. 북한은 벌써 20년 이상을 이런 실험을 해왔기 때문에 소형화 능력을 달성했다고 보고요. 소형화 경량화를 통해서 탄도 미사일에 탄두로서 핵무기를 장착해서 상대를 공격할 수 있는 능력을 갖출 수 있기 때문에 소형화 경량화는 상당히 중요한 문제입니다. The yield of the last detonation was the greatest among the three nuclear tests indicating that North Korea's nuclear capabilities have advanced. The most important thing is that they made progress during the last three nuclear tests. And the pessimistic analysis is introduced when we hire high magnitude of the explosion scale and the correlation due to the nuclear test. And if we hire these kind of assumptions, then the explosion yield approaches up to 30 to 40 kilotons. That means they are about completion of the implosive technologies. And since they have plutonium and uranium, and they have th this kind of technology, then it will lead them to make uh, their nuclear warhead uh, very small, and they can make various types of nuclear weapons. It is a matter of time that North Korea's nuclear capabilities could be a real threat to the security of the Korean Peninsula. North Korea is making steady progress. It's had three nuclear tests. It has a pretty well developed capability to make um, nuclear explosive materials. Um, it's learning to make long range ballistic missiles. So I think it, it's a growing threat. Um, and there's an urgency to try to um, slow down or stop this stop the advancement of the program and then have some negotiations aimed at the denuclearization of North Korea. Rather than wasting money to show off its nuclear capabilities to the world, North Korea should spend it on reviving its ailing economy and improving people's life standard. Before it is too late, the Kim dynasty should demonstrate through action its sincerity to bring peace on the Korean Peninsula as a member of the international community. And that's all we have time for on BizLine this week. But do join us again next week. We'll be looking at the latest wireless technology. It's called Li-Fi. It involves sending an internet signal via a beam of light. We'll also be looking at changes in the labor market and the movement from manpower to woman power. So do tune in. But that's it for now. I'm Andrew Salmon. This was BizLine. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.